Right, we've met Ben Thaler, we've met little Dougie Martin, and now we're in presence of an absolute legend. Referee and great John Olsworth. John, how are you, mate? Very well, thanks. For, um, uh, really pleased to be here as normal on a Wednesday night watching these kids working the socks off. And you, you obviously you've refed six back-to-back -back grand finals. Is it eight to seven to ninety three? Is that right? Oh, yeah, roughly, roughly. Around about the same time, yeah. And you've been retired now 18 years. Yes. Still involved, though, which is great to see. Um, I never actually retired when McCallum went home. I was... Um, I was coaching the older Lions side and uh, doing the appointments for them. And then we did off-field coaching on the um, three-way earpiece and then we moved on uh, now to coaching the kids, which are basically the future of the game. It's great to put, he's putting so much time into these young lads and there's some really good young prospects here for the refereeing point of view. Interesting you mentioned about Alliance there because there's a lot of people at the moment wanting Alliance Rugby to return to Rugby League. What do you think about that? Um, <clears throat> I think it's a shame that we it was allowed to go. 16 to 19 is a big age group. It's three years of physical development for kids, including our referees. But then 19 into first team, um, I know the development of players physically and everything else, the expertise that go into them, is greater now than it's ever been. But we need, we need a backdrop for players coming back from injury and then young players getting in to make a name for themselves before moving into first team football across the board, not only Super League, but Championship football as well. Yeah, it's, it's a massive gulf in age group. I know he could play against some legends. Jonesy always talks about coming through Alliance and playing against some of his real heroes at Leeds. And he misses those days. And I know there's a lot of clubs across the country. Mike Rush was saying the other week how much he, he wants the Alliance back in the sport. Well, Rush, Rush here at St. Helens is a big advocate of um, youth football with the development side that he's done at St. Helens. Yeah. We all know that Mike took over first team and did a hell of a job at Saints, but I, I would suggest his main forte is the development of the kids. Now, once we've developed the kids to play, as you can see tonight here, we've got to develop the youngsters as referees. We, one can't do without the other. Yeah. Um, as, the game, as the game moves forward, um, every day of the week, we, we've got to make sure that our young kids that we're bringing into the game, they're moving forward at the same pace as the game. We just can't afford um, to get left behind. Now, you were, you refer, refereed a different era, shall we say, of rugby league, a bit more tough, a bit more physical. Would you, do you think it's a better game now, or do you think it was a better game then? I, I would suggest, um, going back in my era and today's era, have both got really, really strong points that you could stand up and make a case for. Um, I'm a big believer in, especially with refereeing, how we can mix a little bit of the old style of refereeing in, in line with the modern day stuff. Yep. Um, I can't see the point of change for the sake of change. There's, there's various things that I, I probably did um, a long time ago. Um, I pass on to the kids when I go watch them referee um, and they get a mixture of ideas on, on how to referee. Um, playing wise, um, shall we say, it, they play to a more strict a rigid uh, form of the game than what they did years ago where you would suggest a lot of it was off the cuff. Yeah. What, obviously going back over the years, you've seen some great play, some great talent, some great teams. Who, in your opinion, was the best player you ever saw as a ref? And also, who was the hardest to, play, to referee? Mm. Which one was the biggest nightmare? You could name a few if you want. Well, I don't think we've got enough time to mention the ones that were hardest to ref. Um, <laughs> but certainly in my time, one from down here actually, Hunslet lad, a lad called Brian Gabitus. Um, magical as a standoff half. And the other one was um, Van Vollenhoven, the wingman who played at St Helens. Uh, he had absolutely everything. Um, and to find anybody that's a nightmare to play this game nowadays, you've got to be tough. Yeah. Um, it, it's not... Um, a Nancy Pansy game, physically and speed wise, um, it really does tax everybody to the limit, and you can't call anybody soft in today's game that plays it. Um, it's just, it's a different type of, um, of physicality today. A lot of it happens at much greater speed than in the older days where you had 18, 19 year old props that were in to do a bit of scrummaging and do the yeah, work yeah. there. Um, now, <laughs> you could put half a team together and only weigh 19 stone. Um, <laughs> such is the quality of fitness and the levels that the players are at and what they have to do. So, yeah, there is good, good bits in the old game, and, but mingled with today's game, yeah, there's a bit of everything in. 
obviously we mentioned you'd refereed six back to back grand finals, but for you, from all your games you refed over years, what was the high point? What was your proudest moment as a referee? Oh, heaven forbid. Um, a lot, a lot of the guys that you would suggest talking to would ever referee um, at, the, at the old Wembley Stadium. Um, I never had an ambition really to referee at Wembley. My ambition was um, to referee international football, yeah. which would en- enhance my knowledge of the game. Um, and by refereeing international stuff, it was enhancing my game and knowledge of the game at the highest level. Yeah. So probably I would suggest Australia and New Zealand in Melbourne, 1991. Um, and then followed probably by my uh, first Wembley appearance with Saints and Halifax. Fantastic. Um, it's rather strange, but a 1918 scoreline when I think Saints were quite f- uh, strong favourites to win it. And now Halifax did a real good job on them. Uh, try, try in the corner. Yeah, Favourite absolutely. The corner. And then two disallowed, one by, uh, both one from a forward pass, and the other with John Pendleby knocking the ball out of Mark Elias' hands right, in yeah. the corner. Um, amazing, absolutely amazing. Mate, absolute legend speaks to you. Thank you for all the good work you're doing. And it's, uh, it's great to get the refs of rugby. And Gary Schofield won't like it, but we love it. <laughs> there you go, Gaz. We love you. <laughs>